Hey folks, Ted here today with XBED. This is part two of our earlier discussion of the Bivy Poncho UL from XBED. Um, in the earlier discussion, or in the earlier video clip that we did, we basically talked through the Bivy, me, through the poncho as a poncho, as you would wear it, which is what it should be. But if you'll notice that we also have two other words in that. One is Bivy, basically an overnight or an emergency shelter. And the other thing is UL as an ultralight. And I'll talk about both those features in just a second here. We wanted to go ahead and set up the poncho basically as one of the many forms of a shelter that you could use this thing in. This is a very simple A-frame construction. We're in deep woods here, so I was able to go ahead and string it up between the two trees. This has a total of six guy lines on it. That was seven for you. That would be six for me. <laughs> six guy lines on here. Just simple guy lines, you can, we sell them. Xbed has them right there. This is the Dyneema cords. I've just gone ahead and attached it to one of the uh, points on all the corners right there. Real simple, easy to guy out, really lightweight. Um, simple peak adjustment right here, and then four stakeout points on either side. Obviously, if I'm sending it up this way, we do have one big hole. I guess you could call it a chimney at the top of the, uh, of the, of the poncho. If you want to get, go ahead and make that dry, the best thing to do is just take the draw cord, snug that thing shut, zip it down, or if you're really concerned about it possibly flapping in the wind, just go ahead and take it, tie it up like so, and it just reduces the amount of stuff that can flap around in the wind. Totally dry there. Real easy. While it's up here, it's really easy also to see the snaps that I was talking about earlier that are all along the entire perimeter of the poncho. If you happen to have been out there with two people and you both had this poncho, you could actually make this shelter double wide by just going ahead and snapping the other poncho one on one and now you have a double wide poncho. Pretty amazing way to have a piece of gear that is both your, serves as your rain gear and as your rain shelter when you want to deploy it later on. I'm going to go ahead and kind of tuck under here so you can see what's going on. <clears throat> have a multi mat laid out underneath here to give you sort of a perspective of the overall size. Nice thing is when you're hiking with a poncho, blowing rain, whatever else, this is a real easy thing to pop up. Just sit down, brew up a cup of tea, rain jacket comes off, you can get yourself to uh, lose any of the extra moisture buildup that you had, get access to your pack, open it up underneath here without having any rain dumping in on the inside. Everything stays dry, it's set to go. In this particular scenario, I'm relatively sheltered from the wind overall. So I have it set up fairly high, so I can sit up nice and tall, got plenty of space to work with, lean up against the tree. We could very easily put two or even three people underneath here to just kind of hunker out of, the, out of the rain. So it makes a great shelter that way. If I want to use it just as a solo shelter, you can see there's plenty of room for me to go ahead and lie down in this. Ton of coverage. Sleeping bag, all set to go. I've got plenty of coverage for, for a comfortable night's sleep. If it's really blowing, I could obviously just take the whole thing and drop it down a little bit lower for a little bit tighter shelter, but I prefer to have a little more ventilation. Same thing applies if you wanted to have it just as a standing shelter, raise it up a little bit higher at the peak so now I can stand underneath it and we can huddle more people in that particular case. It's easy to work with. One of the nice things about the UL fabric is that it's very, very translucent. And if you come in a little bit closer, you can actually notice that one of the things I can do in this particular format as a shelter, I've gone ahead and I've got this little pocket right here. It's a perfect place for you to go ahead and take a headlamp, turn the headlamp on, drop it in here, and it shines a nice beam of light right into the area that I'm sitting in and working with right here. So just a little tip, a little detail to work with right there. Obviously, here we've set it up in just a very simple A-frame. I could have done it the other direction so that instead of guying at the ends or at the bottoms of the, of the poncho, I could have done it literally at the shoulder sides these two guy lines on either side. That would have given me a longer pitch on either side, but not quite as, as, um, as wide. So it wouldn't quite work as well for a sleeping bag, but it would certainly work very well for having three, four people sitting underneath it as a lightweight tarp shelter. Anyhow, again, one of the many ways to use this. Um, we may do another video in the future as to little secrets and tips that you can work out on the poncho. That's it for right now. Thanks a lot.